When I first realized I could get monetized, I was over the moon. I was like, I'm sorted, you know? I can make this my full-time job. And now I've got 500,000 subscribers. We're lucky enough to be on 120,000 now. If you was to ask me within my first year, could I imagine that happening? No, I pinch myself every single day. Welcome to There's various ways you can monetize on YouTube. You've got your YouTube ad revenue. That's like the most basic way. Once you've got your thousand subscribers and once you've got your 4,000 watch time and you can activate monetization. Place your ads in a certain point in the video where it's a, kind of like a cliffhanger, like where someone will like go into the advert and be like, oh, I have to keep watching it because like you're literally about to say something important. A lot of shows we do are live and we was able to enable super chats where people can send in donations at will. Then there's super stickers as well. Really, really easy ways of monetizing. And they also don't put pressure um, onto the person watching. And also the members club where we deliver bespoke content, behind the scenes content. People can get involved in the live chat and get their own emojis, their own badges, and just really get that personal feel. I have made merch before. A couple years ago I made some t-shirts, some hoodies, and now I'm actually creating my own bikini brand. Brand partnerships are a great way to also monetize. There's a lot of scope to, to work alongside brands, to promote products and create relationships where it works in both ways. The algorithm is really important and it's important that you try to understand where you fit into it. And it's something that I'm constantly learning as well. And that's basically looking at what are the patterns that help your content do the best? The algorithm for me is super important to reach my maximum capacity of viewers, engagement, reach, all of that. It could be things like upload times. So consistency in terms of we upload every morning at 9 a.m. YouTube then recognizes that that is the place for your channel. That is when people are most watching your channel. So then therefore the YouTube recommendation differs if you have a scattergun approach. The best tip I've got for algorithm is definitely catering to your audience and uploading at the time where your audience is most active. Discovering your niche and where you fit in, almost your unique selling point, is so, so important. Here at the United View, we're a football channel. We talk about Manchester United. That's the basic side of it. But how do you extend on that? How do you expand that? How do you find where people are going to come to you and the reason why people are going to come to you? And we've managed to do that. To attract an audience, you have to create content which isn't on the internet already. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My niche is lifestyle, but obviously that seems like a very wide, wide concept. But I am very raw and authentic. I really just say, say it how it is. You know, the camera's there in the moments where no one else is watching. My editing style is just very quick, you know, to the point, keeps the audience really, really, really involved. We're going through YouTube comments where people are giving their feedback and sort of actually telling us, this is what we like to see. So what did we do? We did more of it. We do stadium tours and behind the scenes access. People like to see me interviewing other people, talking to other people, meeting new people and trying different things. Going onto your community tab and asking your audience what they want to see and building a really, really solid community just, well, makes your views skyrocket. I think the best investment I've made for my channel is definitely my camera equipment and my editing software. So for my camera, I use a Canon G7X Mark II and for my editing software, I use Final Cut Pro. The best piece of advice I was ever given was investing in leveling up our content, our production, our camera equipment, our lighting, and just getting a studio space. Everything's just gone through the roof. More engagement, more sharing, more views, and also it gives you a more professional product. So if you're looking for working with brands and cross-collaborating, it's gonna give you that extra push to say, this is what sets you apart from the rest.